Equivalent Ratios Part 2. So now we are going to try to determine if two ratios are equivalent, and here's how we do this. Step one is to express each ratio as a fraction. Step two is to put both ratios in simplest form, and then step three is to generate equivalent fractions, if necessary, to determine if the ratios are equivalent to one another. So let's look at this first problem. Stanley lost 15 pounds in five weeks at Camp Green Lake. Hector lost 12 pounds in three weeks. Well, if we think about our nosy, we don't really need to know that it's at Camp Green Lake, so we can cross that out. But we do need to know that Stanley lost 15 pounds in five weeks, and then for Hector it was 12 pounds in three weeks. So we need to know that information. Those numbers are what are going to go in our ratios. So let's write Stanley's weight loss as a ratio. 15 pounds, and remember it needs to be written as a fraction, and five weeks. Now we'll do the same thing for Hector. He lost 12 pounds in three weeks. So we have done step one. We have expressed each ratio as a fraction. Now we need to put both ratios in simplest form. So if I look at the first one, 15 pounds in five weeks, I notice that I can divide both the top and the bottom by five to get three pounds in one week. And now our fraction is in simplest form because it is three over one. That cannot get simplified anymore. Three pounds per week. And then let's look at Hector's. So for Hector, we have 12 pounds in three weeks, so I can divide by three on both top and bottom. 12 divided by three is four, so we have four pounds over one week. So Stanley lost three pounds per week and Hector lost four pounds per week. Are those equivalent ratios? Is it true that 3 over 1 is equal to 4 over 1? No, it's not true. So the answer is no. These are not equivalent ratios. Jurassic Depot is selling three dinosaur eggs for $21. Oops. And Dino Express is selling five dinosaur eggs for $35. So again, let's express both of these ratios as fractions. And let's see, three eggs for $21 or five eggs for $35. Step two is to put both ratios in simplest form. So let's go ahead and do that. Three and 21 are both divisible by three. So I get one egg for seven dollars. And then in the other ratio, five eggs and thirty-five dollars, I notice that both of those are divisible by five. So I have one egg for seven dollars. So we need to determine if these two ratios are equivalent. Is it true that one-seventh equals one-seventh? Yes it is. So both of these ratios are equivalent. At last week's Quidditch match, Slytherin blocked 3 out of 7 goal attempts and Gryffindor blocked 9 out of 14 goal attempts. So we need to highlight the numbers that are going in our ratios, 3 out of 7 and 9 out of 14. And let's think about how we need to label these. So I'll put 3 were blocked out of 7 attempts. And then for Gryffindor, nine were blocked out of 14 attempts. So now that we've got these written in fraction form, we need to put both the ratios in simplest form and determine if they are in fact equivalent. So why don't you go ahead and pause the video, put them in simplest form, and then press play to check, and we'll move on from there. So what did you notice? 
These are actually both in simplest form already. So that's fantastic. That means step two is done for us. That takes us to step three, where we generate equivalent fractions to determine if the ratios are equivalent. Is there a way that I can make three over seven equal nine over 14? Well, let's just look at the numerators. I know that if I do three times three, I can get nine. So we have three times three, and we have nine blocked. But when we're dealing with equivalent fractions, we have to multiply the denominator by the same thing that we did on the numerator. So we have to do seven times three on the bottom. And seven times three is 21. So does nine over 21 equal nine over 14? No, they're not the same thing. So these are not equivalent ratios. Now this last problem I want you to do completely on your own, meaning you need to figure out what the problem is saying, what the ratios are, and then follow those steps at the top to make sure that those ratios are equivalent. If they are, write yes. If they're not, write no. We're going to check this in class together, but not in the video. However, don't forget the question section, you must either write a question of confusion or a problem for your group to solve. So good luck and we'll talk about it in class.